Hello friends. Picture this. A peaceful morning on a dairy farm in the heartland of America. The sun is just starting to peek over the horizon, casting a golden glow over the rolling fields, and the sound of cows mooing softly in the distance can be heard. Somewhere a farmer is sipping coffee, gearing up for another day of what I can only assume is one of the most utterly demanding jobs in the world. Harvesting milk from cows. Yes, you read that right. Harvesting milk. Because, as much as it might seem like magic when you grab a carton of milk from the grocery store, there's a whole lot of science, sweat, and very precise cow choreography that goes into getting that milk from the farm to your fridge. In 2023, American dairy farmers produced an astounding 102 million tons of milk. That's a lot of moo juice. But how exactly does this happen? Is there a secret cow whisperer involved? Or maybe even a cow gym where they work out their udders for maximum milk production? Spoiler alert, it's a lot more technical than that. But still, just as fascinating. So, grab a glass of cold milk, and let's dive into the modern marvel that is the American dairy farm. Early dairy farming was pretty basic. People milked cows by hand, and milk was consumed raw. Pasteurization hadn't been invented yet, so people just crossed their fingers and hoped for the best. Fast forward to the 1600s, when European settlers brought dairy cows to North America. These cows provided milk for small farming communities, and dairy farming began to take root in the New World. In the 1800s, as cities grew and industrialization took off, the demand for milk skyrocketed. However, transporting fresh milk from rural farms to urban centers was tricky, and spoilage was a common issue. Enter Louis Pasteur, the French scientist who, in the 1860s, developed the process pasteurization, which involves heating milk to kill harmful bacteria. This innovation revolutionized the milk industry, making it safer to consume and easier to transport. By the 20th century, dairy farming had become a major industry in the U.S. The introduction of refrigeration, along with advancements in transportation, allowed milk to be distributed across the country. Today, the U.S. is one of the largest milk producers in the world, and dairy farmers have embraced cutting-edge technology to milk more cows more efficiently than ever before. Back to the present, the dairy industry has changed a lot. First things first, let's talk about the stars of this dairy drama. The cows. Not just any cows, mind you. Dairy farms use specific breeds of cows that are known for their milk-producing prowess. The most popular breed in the U.S. is the Holstein, recognizable by its black and white patches that make it look like it just walked off the set of a children's cartoon. These cows are milk-making machines, producing an average of six to seven gallons of milk a day. That's enough to fill around 112 glasses of milk, if you're keeping count. But these cows don't just magically produce milk on their own. They need to be cared for, well-fed, and most importantly, they need to become mothers first. Like most mammals, a cow produces milk only after giving birth to a calf. Once a cow has calved, she enters the milking rotation, and that's when the magic happens. It's milking time. Gone are the days of sitting on a little stool and milking a cow by hand, though, let's be honest, there's something charming about that image. On modern dairy farms, the process is far more streamlined and, well, industrial. The cows are brought into what's called a milking parlor, which sounds way fancier than it is. It's not a fancy parlor with velvet curtains and chandeliers, but rather a super efficient setup where cows can be milked quickly and comfortably. Here's the breakdown of what happens in the milking parlor. Before the milking begins, the cow's udders are cleaned and sanitized. You wouldn't want to drink milk that's been sloshed around in dirt, right? The udders are also given a quick massage, which stimulates milk flow. Yes, cows get massages. Try not to be jealous. Once the cow is prepped, a machine attaches suction cups to the cow's teats. These suction cups gently draw the milk from the cow's udder through tubes and into a collection system.
flows through a series of pipes and into a large refrigerated storage tank. This milk is then kept cool until it's ready to be transported to a processing plant. Fun fact, the milk never touches human hands during this whole process, which is pretty impressive when you think about it. Some farms are even high-tech enough to use robotic milking machines. These robots let the cows decide when they want to be milked, and the cows can stroll up to the machine whenever they're feeling the need for a little relief. The machine identifies each cow by a sensor attached to her collar and goes to work. After the milking session is over, the cows are sent back out to pasture or into comfortable barns where they can relax, eat, and chew their cud, which is cow speak, for rechewing their food. Cows need to eat a lot to keep up with their milk production, so their diet is carefully monitored. They're fed a mix of hay, silage, which is basically fermented grass, grains, and other nutrients to make sure they stay healthy and strong. And then the cycle repeats. The cows are typically milked two to three times a day, depending on the farm. Between each session, they're living their best cow lives, grazing, napping, and occasionally plotting to escape. Okay, maybe not the last part, but cows are smarter than we give them credit for. After the milk is collected, it's far from over. The milk needs to be processed before it can hit the shelves of your local grocery store. Here's what happens next. First, the milk is transported from the farm to a processing plant in large, insulated tanker trucks. These trucks are like giant thermoses, keeping the milk cool to prevent spoilage. At the processing plant, the milk goes through pasteurization, a process that heats the milk to a specific temperature to kill any harmful bacteria. This ensures that when you chug a glass of milk, you're not also chugging a cocktail of germs. Next, the milk is homogenized. This is a fancy way of saying that the fat in the milk is broken down so it doesn't separate and form a layer of cream on top. Though let's be real, some people love that old school cream on top milk. Finally, the milk is bottled, packaged, and shipped out to stores. And voila! That gallon of milk you grabbed from the fridge section at your local supermarket started its journey in a cow's udder just a few days ago. Milk is big business in America. In fact, the dairy industry is a multi-billion dollar industry, contributing significantly to the economy. Dairy farms provide jobs, not only for the farmers themselves, but also for the workers who help with everything from feeding the cows to maintaining equipment. Then there are the truck drivers, plant workers, and grocery store employees who all play a part in getting milk to your table. But the economic impact of dairy doesn't stop at just milk. There's a whole world of dairy products out there. Cheese, butter, yogurt, ice cream that Americans consume with gusto. Cheese alone is a $45 billion industry in the US. And let's not even get started on how much ice cream Americans eat every year. Spoiler, it's a lot. Dairy farms are also vital to rural economies. Many of these farms are family-owned and have been passed down through generations. In a lot of small towns, the dairy farm is the backbone of the local economy, providing jobs and supporting other businesses. Milk is more than just a beverage in America. It's a cultural icon. Milk has long been a symbol of wholesomeness and health. It's the stuff of childhood memories the thing you pour over your cereal and the key ingredient in a comforting glass of chocolate milk after a long day. Milk is also tied to some very specific American traditions. Take for instance milk and cookies. Whether it's leaving out a plate for Santa on Christmas Eve or just indulging in a snack after school, there's something quintessentially American about dunking a cookie into a glass of cold milk. Then there's the milkshake a symbol of 1950s diners and teenage rebellion. You can't picture classic Americana without imagining a group of kids in a booth, sipping on milkshakes with whipped cream and cherries on top. So there you have it, the journey of milk from the udder to your kitchen and all the ways it impacts both the economy and culture. Harvesting 102 million tons of milk a year is no small feat 
and it's a process that involves a lot more than just a cow and a bucket. It's a testament to modern technology, hard work, and, let's face it, a little bit of cow magic. The next time you pour yourself a glass of milk, take a moment to think about the incredible journey that milk has taken to get to you. It's a process that involves farmers, cows, machines, and a whole lot of dedication. And while it might seem like just a simple drink, milk is so much more than that. It's a symbol of hard work, tradition, and yes, a little bit of fun. So here's to the humble cow, the hardworking farmer, and the glass of milk that brings it all together. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when our exciting videos go live. Goodbye. Thank you.